what we're gonna go ahead now and do is we're gonna go ahead and collect all of the refrigerant out of the compressor before we go ahead and begin to remove the compressor. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and take our manifold gauges and we're gonna hook up to both our low, which is our blue, which goes here to our compressor process stuff. And you wanna make sure it's nice and tight. You also wanna make sure it's nice and tight here. Make sure your valve is closed by going clockwise. And then what you wanna do is your red, you wanna go ahead and connect it to your filter dryer, which is your high side. Make sure that's nice and tight. Make sure it's tight over here, which it wasn't. Make sure your valve is closed. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna come here to our recovery device. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and put a filter in series with our inlet. Now, our outlet, we're gonna come in from here. You said liquid side? Mm -hmm. Okay, now what we're gonna do is open up here, power on. Plug it in. Plug it in. You don't have the cord connected to it. Plug it in. Plug it out. Richard, why do you have all this hooked up, man? Okay, so due to the fact that this unit is a dual evaporator, meaning there's one evaporator in your freezer and there's one evaporator in your fresh food compartment, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull the Freon that's in the entire system. Now, in this refrigerator, located here at the bottom, where my hand is, there is a three-way valve. And what this three-way valve does is, it sends refrigerant to two capillary tubes. One capillary tube is on this side, and you'll see a little blue tab, or a little blue uh, marking on the capillary. And the other side will have a red tab and that will also be on the capillary. The red tab is for your fresh food evaporator and the blue tab indicates your freezer evaporator. So now what we're going to do is plug in the unit and once we plug in the unit we're going to count to 12 seconds. 1001 1002, 1003, and you can even hear the three way valve. You can feel it. Now we're going to go ahead and unplug the unit that the unit is in the, the unit is in the three way in the home position. Now our three way valve is open to both freezer, I'm sorry, fresh food and freezer. So now any sort of evacuating, any sort of charging, any sort of pressurizing, any leak detection tests will be done simultaneously in both compartments now that the three-way three valve is homed out. Another way to home the three-way um, valve is you can also plug the unit in Give it a second. These LGs tend to take a second or two to turn on and everything. Plus, the compressor was just on, so it may or may not kick on. But, once your condenser fan blade starts turning, that's a good indication of when you can go ahead and press your start button. When you press the start button here, what you want to listen to is you want to listen for the fridge to start beeping. Okay, now the three-way valve should be in the open or home position as well. So you can either, like I said, press your uh, test switch button once, 
and unplug it or plug it in 10 12 seconds 1001 1002 when you see your condenser fan kick on unplug it valve is in the home position so now that our valve is in the home position what we're going to do is go ahead and remove all the freon out of the unit and we're going to send it to our recovery cylinder our recovery tank. okay so the importance of the the role of the three-way valve and this importance to put it into the home position is so that any sort of recovery any sort of charging pressurizing can be done in both compartments this three-way valve will either send refrigerant to your evaporator freezer that's the first position uh, or second third it doesn't matter but it's three positions but that's one of three the second is it's sending freon to your uh, fresh food compartment and then the third is when it's open and it's doing it in both compartments and that's where we have our three three way valve at now and again you do that by pressing your test switch button once or plugging your unit in counting 12 seconds and unplugging the unit